Kanika, very much uh, welcome to the Q&A session with Mira Finn regarding FRM Part 1 exam. First of all, congratulations for clearing your FRM Part 1 exam uh, with such a good quartiles, right? And, uh, before we, yes, and before we start, can, can we have a small introduction for our viewers? I mean, who is Kanika? Okay, yeah. So before that, uh, I would like to thank Midafin, the team, uh, for supporting me throughout my FRM part one journey. Uh, they have been available 24-7 and have made this journey successful for me. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, so coming on to my uh, introduction, um, I'm Kanika Chandok. I am based out of Gurgaon and um, I have been working professional just one year prior to this, I have taken a break from my, uh, you know, work. And now I'm just focusing on my FRM, uh, FRM exam. Uh, and before that, if I talk about my educational achievements, I am an economics honors uh, graduate from Delhi University. Um, post that, I did a postgraduate diploma in financial planning from PGDFP College. Um, and uh, after that, I have also uh, continued uh, my CFP journey uh, with, uh, you know, IFPSB board, uh, IFSB board. And it's, it's, uh, I'm already an AFP. Uh, but just after completing my, uh, you know, journey of CFP, I thought that, you know, I wanted to become a professional. However, that was not possible. So a um, couple of years, I worked with the banking industry and uh, with banks like ABN AMRO and HSBC. Just after that, I realized that, you know, CFP is not there in India. So I hopped on to my uh, analytics field and uh, analysis field, sorry. And um, I took a research job. And since then, I have been working in research industry from last 12 odd years. I have worked with companies like uh, WNS, um, Gartner, then Willis Towers Watson, and uh, also Genpak in Gurgaon. Um, my journey had been great uh, given the growth prospects, but since the growth was stagnating, how then I decided that, you know, let me just take up something, uh, you know, on an educational front and um, let me just refine my career better. And uh, that's how I approached Midha Finn and especially Mickey sir. Um, and he has been motivational enough to <laughs> let me enroll for the program. And that's how I have reached this journey that I have now completed FRM 1, part 1 successfully. I'm looking forward to part 2 in uh, May. Okay. Yeah. That was uh, very well spoken about your entire journey. I'm sure it would be an uh, to inspiration to our viewers who are looking forward to make their career in finance uh, via FRM. Right. So uh, let's start the Q&A part, question and answer part. So the very first question I would like to ask that the exam that you took in November 2021, FRM part one exam. So, I mean, what was your experience? I mean, how how do you think you can describe the exam, how it was? Uh, so from an exam point of view, I would say that, uh, you know, the questions can be um, theoretical as well as numerical. There cannot be any, you know, uh, fine judgment to it because every time they keep on changing the percentage level of theoretical and as well as numerical questions. However, from last three, four exams, we have been seeing a trend that, you know, theoretical question and more of a conceptual based questions are being uh, asked in exam and uh, they want to test the um, you know, application based knowledge of a candidate rather than just being a bookish, you know, uh, understanding of a candidate. So I think for clearing the exam of, of for that matter, even before sitting for the exam, you need to be thorough and in and out concept, to, uh, you know, thorough with the concept and uh, you should be properly clear in and out uh, from the concept point of view for the uh, before sitting for the exam. Okay, okay. And Kanika, let's say, how would you describe your preparation journey for FRM Part 1 exam? Um, so, for that matter, I will just start with the day when I first spoke to uh, Mickey sir about this journey. I was a working professional. Um, I'm a working mom. And at that time, I was really struggling with, you know, uh, this lockdown. And, uh, you know, I had this Naina's work and a kid who is five years old. So I was struggling with that kind of schedule. However, there was this, you know, inspiration or probably there was this, there was this thing in my mind that I need to do something about my growth. So I spoke to Mickey sir and he has, you know, he motivated me enough to pick up this uh, part one exam. Um, 
the most important thing which i found about this exam is that you know which can probably get back to your study uh, routine is that you need to have a plan in place before even you start with the live classes with sir uh, and that plan the that plan has to be not just day uh, day by day plan or probably a month by month plan that that's like a broader view however you need to break it down further into an hour by hour plan to make it even more successful so that you know how much time you were you know um, allocating towards uh, not so necessary stuff and you are able to devote that time towards your study and make it more you know consistent and preparations are so good that you can clear the exam in first attempt itself so that's what i feel is is a you know best part about this journey second thing is that the support from midafin team has been tremendous it, it's it's been great that you know uh, the faculty was available 24/7 i have messaged them at 5 am i have messaged them at 12 night they have responded back there and then and they have solved my queries like you know you are solving a your own kids questions so it's it's that you know personal uh, they have taken zoom calls uh, they have explained things in detail and um, also i feel that you know um, the best thing about midafin uh, group is that the colleagues or probably the uh, the mates that we are studying with have been very uh, you know uh, considerate and have been very cooperative enough they have not seen, shown any sort of uh, you know ego issues while sharing materials or probably while sharing their uh, con uh, concepts or probably uh, their plans study plans and they have helped us a lot throughout the journey so i feel finding a study partner or finding a study groups add that flavor to your preparations um apart from that what i feel is um you need to be consistent throughout your plan if you have determined that you know 12 hours or 10 hours in a day you are going to give your to your study or probably if you are working professional then you are going to give 4 hours i think day by day it should only increase and not decrease that is one factor that keeps you you yourself motivated because you will start learning and um, and that will actually help you achieve what you wanted or dreamt of so i think right right 100% agree right so absolutely i mean the planning is the first thing that uh, for for any preparation for any exam uh, planning is mandatory is the first step towards it but then execution as well uh is very much important and i hope you would agree with me so when i talk about the execution part then the materials that were provided by midafin let's say the study notes the mock test periodic test the video lectures so do you think they are sufficient for they were sufficient for your preparation and were they good uh yeah so if i talk about the real exam and the mock test that midafin provided they they i could find lot many questions uh which resemble to the main exam and actually they have revamped uh, the mock test really well this time around so i don't find any issue with that uh plus i feel that there is no added material which is required you have your gab books you have midafin materials with you then you have the mock test available you have the periodic test i think it's it's more than a cherry on the top uh, uh, cherry on the cake so uh, everything is being provided on a platter in front of you and you just have to materialize you just have to leverage everything and give your exam your best shot so i don't feel any uh, you know and disconnect or probably any uh, negative part from meda fin which i would like to highlight or uh, say the materials have been proper they have been uploaded timely for the candidates uh, you know um, uh, convenience and i think what uh, you know else you can expect from a tutor who is teaching online yeah okay thank you for your kind words Uh, still i would like to know i mean how was the overall support that you received from midafin how do you like to describe that okay so that was basically my concern when i joined midafin um because i wanted to pursue my post graduation or probably a professional course long back however uh, the the problem between online and offline learning has been a concern for me and i am sure there would be that would be a concern for many other candidates 
in terms of online learning, um, Midafin has supported tremendously. I think uh, it's it's just like a teacher sitting next to you or probably a, a, in a neighborhood that, you know, you can approach anytime and every time. And um, they have been cooperative enough. The faculty members have been available 24-7. Uh, they, uh, you know... I they have done more than what a tutor can do for you to achieve what you wanted and over and above there was not even a single grudge that you know why I am explaining to a candidate fifth or sixth time so that is the best part that you know we feel very you know uh, uh, not so good when we approach a teacher asking a very silly question uh, you know when he has explained five to six times however still i think mickey sir has been humble enough to take up those questions and explain it uh with this with uh, you know best of his attitude thank you so much but uh we firmly believe or at least it's my perception and i'm sure my team also would agree that there is always a scope of improvement so what do you think we can improve at Midafin to make the experience of our candidates even better? Okay, so I think everything is perfect right now. What I feel is that after giving this exam and what I've heard from candidates who have appeared for CBT-based papers, which are even more trickier than pen and paper uh, you know, exams, is that uh, GARP is trying to test you conceptually. And in between questions have been asked, uh, though I have no noticed that those questions have directly been pulled from PDF, what Mickey said has already provided. So, uh, you know, in case of the mock test or the monthly test that uh, the team has been prepares, pre preparing so far, the periodic test, those can be refined so well, uh, you know, even revamped that uh, the candidates don't feel major difference between the main exam and the mock test. I could figure out a couple of mock tests, uh, which I also highlighted to Mickey, sir, that, you know, this mock test was actually a good testing, you know, uh, for the candidates. Uh, because I myself, after giving the exam, I was not expecting more than like 45 to 50% marks in the, that exam. How was still scored good because maybe the concepts were okay. So, um, the... I will just take an example of a VRM subject, which is like valuation, uh, you know, risk models. So he has covered in that mock test, I think he has covered 50 to 60 questions of just one subject and each and every line has been questioned. So there is no scope of candidates returning back that, you know, you have not tested us properly. It, it would be at a candidate end that, you know, he or she might not have read it properly, but I think the testing was proper. So, Similar ways we can revamp, uh, you know, the papers, uh, the mock test or the periodic test so that it becomes more and more challenging for the candidates. However, at the end, they will find the results in the main exam. Okay. Okay. We'll surely uh, look into your suggestion. It's a very good idea that, yes, uh, the way we have done the preparation for VRM and the other uh, papers that you mentioned, if we can implement the same and revamp the entire uh, mock test uh, based on the, so that there would be no surprises in FRM exam that would be taken care. Okay, so uh, but the next very question that appears in my mind that the candidates who are going to appear for FRM part one with us or would be joining in future with us or even for any person who is watching this video of ours. So what would be your suggestion for their preparation for a FRM exam part one? For me, what played the major role was a study plan uh, should be put in place. It should not be just a tick in box. You need to take that plan very seriously. Uh, first of all, hour by hour or day by day or month by month, but it has to be a proper plan with a proper deadline that, okay, by month and my this much course should be complete and I'm appearing for a particular test. And this is my objective. Um, Second thing I would like to highlight that you need to be consistent with the, throughout your journey. If at five o'clock I'm getting up for my studies, I have to stick with that plan. And at day end, if eight o'clock I'm ending my day, I need to be, you know, uh, so much secured at the end of the day that yes, I have used my time wisely throughout the day. And this is what the step-by-step -step journey every day, every month will help you achieve your goal finally. So you need not worry about the final exam. You just need to work on the small steps that you're taking every day so that you, you reach that goal successfully. 
uh third is that you know um do not take exam too seriously you might feel fatigued you might uh, you know uh, feel that you know you are not having proper food or lack of water and you are so much engrossed with your studies that you're not taking proper care of your health that what make you you know um not perform so good during the exam because you're so fatigued that the 4 hour exam itself is testing you so much so after all guys it's just an exam we all are human and you know we are sitting uh, and doing our job we are trying our best just take it easy and appear for it no matter what happens let's see and it's it's a long journey so the i would say the fruits are you know better at the end which you are going to uh, eat for another 20 25 years so why not invest some time be 2 years 3 years for your study and do it properly is what my suggestion is third thing is that you need to trust your tutor well and i strongly believe that midafin is the right uh, you know um, uh, what do you call institute to go for if you trust midafin your journey will be smooth throughout okay and the first fourth thing is that um, you need to evaluate your performance that's most important because the mock tests will be available online and offline you will get card practice material you will get bt material however whatever mock tests you give don't worry about marks i used to worry and i realized over a point of time that you know it's not something to worry but it's it is something that you need to take care of what are your gaps and how you need to overcome those gaps over a period of time and even before you know 15 days before the exam you feel that you are not prepared give your best shot in those 15 days re- evaluate work on that those gaps properly so that you are able to sit in that exam with full confidence and <clears throat> last but not the least it's it's about you know a group study it impacts a lot because every time morning i used to wake up i used to check my whatsapp messages i used to check that medafin uh, whatsapp study group and you get provoked you get you know why is the other person able to solve it and i am not i am i am not able to solve it if you have that you know thing in your mind or probably your heart you will be able to crack the exam no matter what so i think these are the tips that i would like to give to the candidates who are appearing for the may exam okay so the keywords that i take uh from whatever you have described as a suggestion for students who are preparing for their fram level 1 exam is there should be a study plan there should be a consistency there should be trust there should be continuous testing and most importantly relax correct yeah <laughs> okay yeah. so thank you so much for your time kanika i know it has been a uh, very busy since you are preparing for your fram part 2 as well uh, which you are due in may 22 and thank you so much for taking out your time and connecting with us right we really appreciate it and all the best for your preparation for frm part 2 exam thank, thank you, so you so much thank, thank you so much sir